So for the synthesis of alkynes by elimination, um, you can have a dihalide, right? And if, it's, if it has a hydrogen attached to it, then it would be a terminal alkyne that will be formed. And if you want a internal alkyne, then it would have to have not a hydrogen, but a carbon here, right? So, and notice how in both cases, it's different reactants. So in this case, since you have two bromines, um, you have your NaNH2 and heat, this just stands for heat, and it'll form a internal alkyne, right? So um, because there's a hydrogen here, there will also be a hydrogen here. Uh, it's just not shown because it's implied. So the bromines go away and form a triple bond right here, and that's what it shows here. And so for this one though, um, since it has a uh, carbon here, an extra carbon where this one doesn't, we use KOH. And so this will end up forming a internal alkyne, right? Um, and it can be either this, but tr um, trans is more stable, so therefore uh, we would prefer this product, even though it could form a cis. So since there's a methyl, a methyl group or a carbon group right here, um, the bromine leaves forms a triple bond between, and that's what you see right here if you kept in this position, but it would form a trans because trans is more stable. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.